Nice to finally meet you, man. Thanks for coming out. The kidneys came in time. Are they still cold? Yeah, we got it, dude. Ice cold. And uh, all 13 of them right here. Nice. Uh, can you put them over there for me? Absolutely. Thank yeah. You. Slide them on. You know why I got them. Actually, I, <laughs> I didn't want... Told you that. No, I mean, I didn't want to be rude and ask why you needed 13 human kidneys, but... Well, 13 is hey. my lucky number. Oh. oh. I kind of figured it was... I like to do interviews with 13 items around me at all times. So, okay. Pretty cool. Uh, and if you guys don't mind, we're going to try a little bit. We're going to try some yeah. of them? What do you mean, good? try? Uh, we're going to eat them. You should be selling these to people who need them. This is, this is the deal. Hmm. If you want me to be on the show, you're going to eat this. We can't have food or drink in the studio. Okay. Yeah, there, yeah, can't have food or drink in the studio. It's going to happen. You will not leave this building until you eat this. I don't like that at all. I don't all. care what you like. Now, Dave, you have been in over a dozen sci-fi and horror movies. Yes, I have. Over 45 appearances. Yes, I have. What's your that's favorite thing you've done so far? Busy. Uh, that's a good question. I don't actually have a favorite project. Uh, for me, it tends to be I, I, I love characters that are antagonistic, villain, or offbeat. Well, it seems to be what you've been booking a lot. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's definitely what I specialize in. Mm. It's, it's, I don't know, I just love it. You know, you get to go inside these mindsets, because I'm not this way in real life, so I get to go inside these mindsets and figure out why they do what they do, mm -hmm. and uh, it's fun. I can't, uh, there's no complaints. Now, so. I remember reading that you, you consider yourself a method actor. Yes. And I was, I'm just curious, like, what exactly that means to you? What, how do you use method and... For me, I try to become the character. Basically, what I'm trying to do is make the scene so real that the actors think I'm for real. Mm. So, And if I can do that, then I'll fool the audience every single time. Right. Interesting. So, yeah. The problem is sometimes you use lines that aren't lines that I tend to use in real life. Mm. So then it, it sort of kind of makes it complicated. But if I can do that, and make you scared for uh -huh. real, <laughs> they will be scared for real. So I tried, that's 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 how I use method. So I mean, I've been on tons of sets where actors are like, dude, that guy's creeping me out. Really? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, or, or he's calling me a, a Mexican, and I'm not Mexican, I'm Guatemalan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, it's, but I like to do that because um, when I'm on set, I like to play mind games. Hmm. Because then when we go into the scene, you don't like me already. Yeah. Which means, because in real life, you, or in the scene, and you don't like me anyway, so I try to keep it as real as possible. So, Interesting. And, and all the great villain actors I've ever seen in outtakes, they all do that. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So what are some of the things you'll do to screw with somebody? Uh, with just not talk to you, just okay. stare at you the whole time. Okay. Maybe get really close to you. <laughs> you know. <laughs> He's he's sidling up like, to Steve like right now. I can literally wow. feel your breath on my face just yeah. <laughs> because you know most people don't like the uh, they have a comfort zone. Sure, the bubble. So, yes, so it's my job to break it. Mm. Now you're uncomfortable. Right. Now when we do a scene, it's already there. I don't have to fake it. It's for real. Interesting. So, yeah. Do you ever stay in character like you know while you're at the lunch table and stuff? I do with with certain actors. If if you and I, if, if all three of us are in a scene, mm. yeah. and you and I are best pals, well, we'll be best pals during lunchtime. We'll be best pals throughout the I whole set. Mm. But if I don't like you, then I won't even talk to you. Mm -hmm. You mean if your character doesn't like yeah, me? Yeah, if yeah. But I I see it the same thing. Sure. Yeah. So okay. So when we step on set. It's for real. You mm -hmm. know, you're uncomfortable because you're like, why is Dave not talking to me? What, right. What's wrong with me? Or what's wrong with him? You know? And, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like that guy in Deliverance. You know, I actually acted You with know that story? Bill? Are you, are you talking about Bill McKinney? The guy who, you know. I'm going to make you squeal like a pig? Right. I actually acted with him. Did you? So, really? Oh, yeah. He's, he's pretty he's scary. Really? He's very scary. <laughs> Apparently, like, oh, yeah. that, that whole day, he just terrorized Ned Beatty, what, you know, off camera the whole day. Really? Yeah, and then I, I think Reynolds even almost threatened to beat the living stuff out of him. Wow. Right? Yeah, I did a movie with him called The Custom Mary, and it oh, should yeah? come out on DVD this year. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I, even my character's scared of him, but <laughs> on set I didn't have to pretend too much because he's pretty scary. Yeah, so, yeah. he's an intense dude. Oh, I've, yeah. I've never even met him. I'm just saying from what I read. Oh, yeah, when he, when he gets violent, you, you feel the blood boiling through Whoa. his body. 
just boiling through. Wow. So, yeah. Should we grab this call here, Steve? We should, and there's another one coming in. So right now, let's cool. go to Ruben on line one. Ruben, you're on the air. Do you have a question for Dave Vescio? Uh, yes, in a way. Uh, first of all, I wanted to say that I am thrilled that I am to talk with another method actor. I myself am a method actor, and awesome. I agree with everything you just said about living the role and actually becoming a character. I love that about method acting. And I love what you just said. I got a question, though. Is it hard to transfer from one role to another? For example, one day you're a violent killer. The next day maybe you're a happy person. Do you consider that hard, or is that really is it really not that difficult for you? No, it is. It's, it's very hard uh, because, you know, when, once you get s- stuck in a mindset, you're stuck in it, and it takes a while mm. for you to get out of it. Um, no, definitely, because I, I do comedy a lot, especially commercials, you know, for big brand names. And for me to go from, you know, I'm just slaughtering your whole family to now I have to entertain everyone. <laughs> it, the it, same family. Yeah, yeah it, mm. it is. It is. It, it's For me, it is like very stepping hard. out of the dark side into the light, you know, after yes. being in the dark for two years. I, I, yes. Yeah, I can see yes. it. Mm. And, and, and for me, I tend to... Like, some of my characters are just mentally unstable. So I tend to do, you know, um, I, I tend to mix certain, like, caffeine or, uh, you know, I'll do, like, a lot of caffeine. I'll take a lot of caffeine pills. Mm. And, yeah, so it is. It sounds it, it's, healthy. It's not. It's not healthy <laughs> at all. But it looks pretty cool on film, so that's why I do it. So, so what does that do to you when you're all hopped up on caffeine? Well, if I'm playing a druggie, then I feel that I should be feeling my heart going, you know, a 1,000 miles per hour. So, sure. So I do. So I pump a lot of caffeine pills in me to get it going. Wow. Yeah. So it, it just makes the scene more I, – I really believe that it's my job to feel – what this character is feeling in real life. Mm -hmm. And if I can actually get as close as possible on set, the audience will truly feel it. They'll experience it. And then they'll go, well, maybe that guy over there is probably on drugs, and maybe I shouldn't go (laughs) talk to him. (laughs) So do you agree, Ruben? Yes, I do. I really agree. I I wanted to ask you, though, you you don't recommend actually doing that, do you? Taking caffeine pills for people. I mean, is that a special case? (laughs) Uh, I, I... you know, I, I was I, I'm told by most of my directors I understand these characters pretty well that I'm able to walk off the set and leave the characters behind. So I do believe if you're totally in control of your mind, then it's fine. Right. Uh, if you're totally in control of your body, then it's fine. Um, and I know most actors cannot, and I know most actors disagree with this, and and that's fine. You know, whatever makes it real makes it real, and everybody has a different technique. Uh, but for me, that's what works, and so I tend to do it. So. Are you uh, able to sleep after uh, 25 caffeine? No, no, no. <laughs> I remember I played a junkie once, and I stayed up all night oh. before I went on set, just popping caffeine pill, drinking soda, popping caffeine pill, drinking Wait, soda. Wait, so when was your call time? Uh, it was like 5 o'clock p.m., oh. so I was up probably for like almost 48 hours. So Okay, nice. so you wanted to have that, like, haven't slept, but yes. totally hot. Yeah, up. I wanted the whole look. You know, nice. no shower, no nothing, you know. Mm-hmm. So, and, you know, sometimes I walk on film sets and the crew members think, I'm, like, I'm homeless guy. <laughs> <laughs> or they think, uh, excuse I remember I did a film once, and one of the, I think it was the AD, they came up to me. They're like, uh, excuse me, uh, you're not allowed to be here. I'm like, oh, I'm one of the actors. <laughs> They're like, oh, I'm sorry. They're so, like, sure you are. Yeah, sorry. yeah. That's so. my trailer over there. <laughs> Should we go to Brian? Sure. Hey, thanks, Ruben. Brian, you're on the air with Dave Vescio. Yeah, Dave, I just had a question. I wanted to know what was the easiest role that you've ever played and what was the most difficult? The easiest role for me is comedy. I understand comedy. I do not know why I'm funny. Hmm. I've never understood why I'm funny. <laughs> People laugh, so cool. Uh, no, comedy is easy. Um, I, I think every actor is comfortable in one genre or something. For me, it's definitely comedy. Uh, the hardest thing for me to do is to play a child molester or a rapist uh, because Which I... Which you have played. Oh, yeah, I, yeah. I, I did play those, definitely. Uh, but for me, that's the hardest because I don't believe in this stuff. It, I, it's like so against everything I believe in. Sure. But I need to trick myself that it's okay. 